Hey Virgo, this is Chaos from Chaos to the Divine Feminine, and I am going to do a general energy read for the person that's currently on your mind. Um, yes, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am this is a new channel. Help me help it grow. Help me get to my first uh thousand followers. And yes, also y'all don't forget about the Lionsgate portal. It actually falls on my birthday on August 8th. So feel free to send me birthday donations. All my information is in the description below. I'm not doing uh, personal readings right now. I'm, I think I'm gonna resume doing personal readings on Monday. And I do have some other stuff coming up. Um, some products that I'm gonna be selling for the ladies. It's something that men will definitely appreciate and benefit from. But it's a product specifically for the, well, not specifically for the ladies, because I guess men can use it too, if you're into that type of stuff. But, um, <laughs> but, no pun intended. So, um, let's get, damn, let's get started. I'm breaking out. I got these two little tiny pimples. They're so small, but they hurt bad. I'm like, I'm ovulating now all the way up through like, fucking Lionsgate for my birthday so guess what I won't be doing I would love to do some manifestation work if you know what I mean well I am going to do manifestation work but yeah I would love to take advantage of the Lionsgate portal for some sex magic y'all be careful that's an intuitive message if you ain't trying to get as a matter of fact if you are trying to get pregnant Try doing the do on Lionsgate Portal on day when it's when it's open to its fullest. That is, if you don't know about the Lionsgate Portal, definitely do your research. It is a major, major manifestation portal. It is the biggest manifestation portal of the year, and it starts the twenty sixth. It's like the twenty sixth through August tenth, but it peaks on August eighth every year. The most powerful day of the Lionsgate Portal when it's completely open is on August eighth, the day I was born. I know I was born into greatness. Anyway, let's get a, a general reading for our Virgos. Spirit, please tell me. Give me the current energy. Three cards for the person that Virgo is currently thinking about. Give me three cards for whoever is on Virgo's mind right now. How do they feel about Virgo? How does the person on Virgo's mind feel about them? Three cards, please. And I am using the House of Night Oracle deck. Three cards, please. Strength. There's fire in this tree. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Wait, no, I said three. That was too many. Give me two more cards. Two more cards, spirit. High priestess of fire. Virgo, you dealing with a fire sign. You might be dealing with the strength in the high priestess of fire. You might be dealing with a Leo. Because the strength card is a Leo card. One more card, please, Spirit. One more card. I know what card wants to come out because I keep seeing it. Uh, I keep seeing it. The High Priestess of Air probably wants to come out. Let's see. Shit. Okay. Cycles. Chaos. At the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, what reading did I do about cycles and then? Was that Pisces? That was Pisces. Like, it, I'm not saying that it's a cycle ending. There either, there might be the start of a new cycle or the ending of a new cycle. And we got the strength card um, and the high priestess. The high, this high priestess of fire card, I was reading it in the, um, the Aquarius reading. You might want to watch the Aquarius reading. You might have Aquarius highly aspected in your chart. Or the person you're thinking of might have Aries in the uh, Aquarius, Aquarius, not Aries, I'm sorry. Aquarius. I just did the Aquarius reading. And they had the High Priestess of Fire as well. They had two fire signs, uh, two fire cards in the Oracle that came out for them. Um, so the High Priestess of Fire was talking about passion, creativity, um, a lot of a lot of creative energy. And being careful not to let that creative energy, like, not let it boil, 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 boil to the, so far up to where it burns out, okay? So, let's see. What spirit? Oh, shit. Let me shuffle. Virgo. Give me more information for the person on Virgo's mind. Uh, clarify this strength card. I saw the three of swords. You might be dealing with somebody that, like, there was... 
there was or is a third party situation. Somebody got somebody. Either both of y'all have somebody or one of y'all has somebody. Third party. By yourself is coming on. By yourself remix. Tell me more about the uh, strength card for Virgo, please, Spirit. Four of Swords. The per this person might be resting. Really? Okay. There might be a confrontation soon. We got the five of um, the five of swords. Tell me about this fire, this high priestess of fire. This high priestess of fire is clarified with the high priestess card. I have Virgo in my chart as well, so this reading kind of. So the person on your mind, Virgo, might be in an. Uh, uh, Okay, so the high priestess, the five, you might be dealing with somebody that might be intuitive. Um, I almost said something. I'm not going to say. Anyways, so the high priestess, the four of wands, which is the marriage card. So... This person, either you or this person, Virgo, take it how it resonates. Y'all see marriage with this person, or they see marriage with you. But we have the tower. We got the Ten of Cups at the bottom. The tower, so, so something is about to happen. Tell me more about this tower. Something is about to happen. Okay, that landed on the... Um, This confrontation has something to do with working the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. They might see you as somebody that is only... You're, you're hiding something. Or you might be focused on your career. Or they might see you as wanting to be single. The tower, please, spirit. The tower, somebody getting left out in the cold. Tell me more about this tower. I mean, this, uh, a queen of pentacles is being left out in the cold. Queen of Pentacles could be an Earth energy, Earth sign. Someone was juggling. So this person sees you as someone that is juggling a high priestess and a Queen of Pentacles. We got the uh, the Two of Pentacles and the Fool. They might also see you as somebody that's flighty and makes... Um, rash decisions like rash yeah rash decisions the fool is taking a step out of fate fate like just making decisions based off of faith so they they see you as the person that juggles and makes rash decisions talk about this cycle judgment a judgment so a judgment is being made or a decision is being made about whether or not to close out this cycle this person is trying to make a decision whether or not to they're, yeah, they're making, so the cycle card. We got the cycle, the judgment, a choice is being made. The seven of pentacles, this is somebody, they're, they're, um, they, it could be a, a, another earth sign like you. Pentacles is earth, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is somebody that is thinking about what all they put into this, this relationship, this situation, whatever it is, this. this is somebody thinking about looking back on their investments. There may have been some confusion, a lot of confusion, a lot of options. This person might be in their head about, about this decision. 
a decision is going to be made, but this person is trying to make sure they make the right decision, weighing out all their options. The strength card, <clears throat> you're definitely dealing with a Leo. Tell me more about the strength card. Page of Wands, <laughs> another fire energy, another... Um, Page could be, um, but pages are also earth signs. So this is earth and fire because it's a, it's a wand. It's like, whenever I see wands, I associate that with fire signs. So they see you as somebody that's in and out. Somebody that don't, yeah, someone that's in and out. The lovers in reverse. Could be dealing with a, um, not a, um. A Gemini or a Sagittarius is in reverse. Opposite of a Gemini or Sagittarius. We got a lot of Earths out here. You might be dealing with an Earth sign or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. Tell me about this lovers in reverse. There was some betrayal. To me, this tells me that a soul contract may have been broken. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords, this betrayal. The ten, the ten of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Someone might be there, either them or you are focusing on focusing on them in their career right now. You might be focusing on your career right now. I don't know if this is the universe. I mean, spirit trying to, because usually this is spirit trying to give you something. Either way, this is somebody not wanting to accept something uh, uh something that's being sent to them by spirit tell me more about this four of cups the chariot cancer energy movement forward tell me more about okay hold on somebody is spying this is a it looked like spirit is working behind the scene. Somebody is spying. This person is either watching you or you're watching. Ah, oh. this person is watching tarot readings. Y'all are watching tarot readings on each other. Y'all are both watching each other. Y'all are stalking each other. Whether it be social media or I feel like this is tarot readings. Tell me more about the page of swords. Somebody wants to somebody wants to make an offer. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. A Knight of Pentacles. So this is forward movement. This is wanting a new beginning. Someone is okay, so someone is stepping out on faith to try and start a new beginning. Someone is manifesting a new beginning. Either you're manifesting a new beginning or the person on your mind is manifesting a new beginning, Virgo. We're at 1327. Tell me more about this page of wands and then we're going to... That's the sun card. That's a yes. Whoever's manifesting, I think that they're going to get what they want. Is that's, Whether that's you, Virgo, or whoever this person is. Tell me more about the... Okay. The world. This is an end-all, be-all situation. The emperor. Five of cups. Seven. Somebody is. This emperor looks like this emperor is sad and heartbroken, but it looks like they're ready to get up and fight for a queen of wands. We got the emperor, the five of cups, the seven of swords, the queen of wands, the uh, three of wands. Someone is standing their ground. Someone's is in a self-imposed prison. The devil. This is somebody's wish fulfillment. Okay. I don't know. This is somebody's wish fulfillment. Um, I'm feeling a little exposed right now. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap this up. That's all I have for y'all. Um, I don't even know what to tell y'all. Whatever y'all are doing, I guess keep doing it. I guess focus on yourself. Let the other person focus on their self. Whoever needs to make the move, make the move. Somebody's going to fight for this. I can't, uh, 
this could be your where i'm pulling this like it's the person that's on your mind's energy so i feel like this person is gonna um fight for this this masculine energy is gonna fight for this yeah okay so whoever this is whoever whoever uh so this is obviously somebody from your past somebody you've been with before i think y'all are i don't know this person they're in their head but somebody's gonna fight for this connection what's gonna be the outcome let me see what the outcome is what's gonna be the outcome of this hold on let me shuffle these cards again what's gonna be the outcome of this situation I see the Ten of Cups, wish fulfillment, a happy home, happy family, everything that you ever wanted. But somebody has to let go of something first. Tell me the outcome, Spirit. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like, okay, a choice has been made. The two, wait. Tell me more. Somebody's guarded. There's still a third party situation. Somebody still has somebody. So, so one person, this person is very guarded because there is still, y'all are soulmates. The moon, there's some secrets. I feel like there's some secrets that want to be released so that this connection can move forward yeah patience it's gonna take patience rest spirit going within spiritually speak to your uh try and meditate speak to your spirit guides see what answers you get from your spirit guides in regards to this but i feel like there's i don't know this feels i'm i'm stuck this feels stuck because there's still a third party situation. So let me know how that works out for y'all. I really want to know. I want to be nosy. Uh, drop a comment, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what's up. Again, don't forget about Lionsgate Portal. I think I will start resuming um, readings on Monday. So if y'all want to go ahead and email me now, I'm not going to respond back until Monday. But if y'all want to go ahead and start hitting me up for readings, that way I, uh, you can get in line. And I will message y'all first thing Monday morning. And again, thanks, like, comment, and subscribe. That's it.